This happy-go-lucky door hanger is perfect for St. Patrick's Day. Hello, I am Katie, the Crafty Blog Stalker, and if you're new to my videos, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming craft tutorial videos. Here are the supplies that we're going to be using, and the base of our door hanger is actually a pizza uh, tin from the dollar store. And then we're going to be using some painted wooden beads, a glue gun, some twine, scissors, and then we're going to be cutting the design out on our Cricut and we need six colors of vinyl. I'm going to be using yellow, orange, pink, purple, blue, and green, and then we have some transfer tape as well. I have made the Happy Go Lucky SVG design available for you to download for free. So make sure and grab the link for that either in the description of this video or in the blog post. We are working in Cricut Design Space, and today I am going to show you how to take a single color design like this one, Happy Go Lucky, into a multicolored layered design. I'm going to open a new project. To bring in our design, I'm going to go to Upload, Upload Image, and then I'm gonna pull in that Happy Go Lucky SVG. If I wanted to, I could add some tags here, but I'm gonna leave it just as is and click on Upload. And then I'm going to highlight the Happy Go Lucky and add to Canvas. Now I want to duplicate this design. So on my Mac, I'm gonna hit Command C and then Command V, and that pastes it. I'm gonna hit Command V four more times so I can have six copies. Four, five, six. Now I'm gonna highlight all designs, Command A, and we are going to center align them all. So it looks like I have one, but you can see over here in my layers panel that I have six. And to keep it nice and easy, we are going to go from the top down. So I'm going to make sure that my top layer is highlighted and I'm going to go to my contour panel and it's easier just to hide all contours to start but then I want to keep the happy go. So I'm just going to click on each letter and highlight it and then for these letters I need to make sure and highlight the center portion and the out outline portion as well. And I want to make sure to hide this lucky. I'm gonna hit the X. And then what that does is basically hide all of the layers. See, I can move it over to the side, except that happy go. And we're gonna change the color of that happy go by coming up here to operation. And let's make it purple. Now we're going to go to our next layer in the layers panel. And again, we're gonna hit contour. We're gonna hide all contours, except this time we want to only highlight this top arc of our rainbow. So we're gonna hide the lucky, and we only have that top arc. And you can see it over here in the layers panel what that looks like. And again, we're gonna change the color on that and let's change it to red. Now I'm going to come back over to the layers panel, hit contour. Are you catching on here? Hide all contours, except that middle one, that middle arc, and highlight the lucky. So all we have is that arc. And now let's change that one to orange. Then we're gonna go to our next happy go lucky, hide all contours, and we want our bottom arc. And this one we want to be yellow. Now on this next happy go lucky in our layers panel, hide all contours except for the clover. Hide the lucky. And this one we're going to make green of course. Then on our bottom design, again, hit contour, hide all, and we want to make sure and click the inside of our letters as well. And this one, we are going to make blue. And it looks like over here we missed a little bit of our yellow arc, so I'm going to go to our layers panel, go to contour again, and then just highlight that little bottom piece as well. And there it is. So now we have changed our single color SVG 
into a six colored layered design. And if I click on make it, you can see the different mats of the different colors. So now we are ready to cut it. I'm gonna click on continue, and then we're going to be cutting it out of permanent vinyl. And then we can follow the prompts in Cricut Design Space to see what color of mat to load. I'm gonna bring in my Cricut, load my vinyl, and let my Cricut cut out all the pieces. I've already weeded all of my different colors of vinyl, and now we are going to layer. And to layer, we are going to use some parchment paper. I forgot to mention this in the supplies list. You could also use wax paper as well. I've already cut a piece of my Cricut transfer tape, and we're gonna start with Lucky. Peel back my transfer tape from that backing. We're going to roll the transfer tape onto that vinyl design and we're going to start at the bottom and scrape that on and then we can remove the backing paper from the blue layer and we are going to take our transfer tape and apply it to the back let's see we want the Y part exposed now we're going to take our yellow bottom piece of our rainbow and if you remember from the design our Y just kind of went right through that, okay? So this parchment paper lets us move stuff around without it sticking. And now that it's in place, you can peel this back and then roll it back down. Remove that backing paper. Our next arch is our orange, so we can lay that down. And move that around since you can see through the parchment paper. And I'm trying to line up the ends of my arches for my rainbow. Okay, that looks good. So then I can lay that side down, peel this back, remove our parchment paper. Isn't that so easy with the parchment paper? Okay, next is our pink. And again, we're just gonna leave a little bit of that rainbow. And again, I want to line those up. Okay, that looks good. So I'm going to press the exposed side down, remove that parchment paper, and roll it down. So easy. Okay, next we're going to do our shamrock. And we are just going to leave a little bit of that exposed, but you can still see it through that parchment paper. Okay, so we can press down that exposed part and then remove that backing paper. And we're going to evenly space. That looks good. Remove our parchment paper. And now we have our entire design on our transfer tape. I'm gonna bring in our pizza tin and I'm gonna wipe it down just with some isopropyl alcohol. This will help remove any fingerprints, dirt, smudges, anything like that on our base that can get in the way of making our vinyl stick really well. To help me center, I'm going to grab our parchment paper and put that behind again. And now I can move that design around to find the perfect placement. Let's see, now I'm just an eyeballer here. And I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to secure it with the exposed area of the transfer tape. And then I want to roll this down so I don't get any air bubbles. And 
press it into place good. And then peel back my transfer tape. And peel it straight back. You guys, that looks so cute. Then I can go back over it. And if I see any little air bubbles, I can push them out. But we aren't done with our door hanger yet. We're going to take our string and our painted beads and string them onto our twine. And I put some tape around one end tightly to um, help me string the beads a little bit faster. Now I'm not gonna go in any particular order. I just don't want the same colors to be right next to each other. I do have another tutorial on how to paint your own beads if you can't find beads in the right color and I will link to that as well. All right, and now you can see that I've got enough beads to go all the way around my pie dish here. Then I can bring in my glue gun and I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time. Okay, I took off that pink bead. I'm still gonna use it, but I just took it off. Pull on my twine to remove it. I don't need to keep it on the string. I was just using the string to kind of help me wrangle all the beads so they weren't all rolling all over the place. And then we can put our last bead into place. Isn't that so cute? I love how that looks with those colorful beads all the way around. Now we just need to add a hanger and I've got some pink ribbon here and We'll cut some off. So I'm lining that up and I'm gonna turn it straight over. And then we can just add our little hanger here. Add some glue. And there we have our finished Happy Go Lucky door hanger. Isn't that so cute? And I love how we turned this single color design into multiple layers of different colors. If you want more fun craft tutorials, make sure to check out my website, thecraftyblogstalker.com. Thanks everyone. Bye and happy crafting.